On July 8, 1874, the Canadian government dispatched 300 officers of the Northwest Mounted Police to a remote prairie location in present-day southern Alberta. There had been reports that American whiskey traders were operating among the Blackfoot there, and the reports were taken seriously indeed by the recently instituted National Police Force. Henceforth, relations between the Blackfoot and the Northwest Mounted Police were smooth as any between the representatives of white officialdom and natives at the time of mass western settlement. Welcome to the Canadian Mild West. It explains why the U.S. has a potent and infinitely pertinent western mythology, while Canada, whose west was vastly larger and more threatening, does not. Since the primary job of the Northwest Mounted Police which became the Royal Canadian Mounted Police in 1920, was to prevent hostility before it happened. The potential for both outlawry and outlaw mythology was effectively snipped before it could happen. The 1874 incident underscores the precedence of management over struggle in popular and most often official Canadian mythology. Where American culture returns obsessively to the well of violence as a source of both spectacle and regenerative spiritual baptism, Canadians defer to their ability to appease through the perfectly respectable but comparatively dull national virtues of compromise and negotiation. The world's peacekeepers, the global referees of fair play. Curiously, the mythic legacy of the Mounties continues to be largely the domain of extraterritorial interests. When in early 1995, the RCMP announced most humorlessly that it was going to clamp down on the, the unlicensed Mountie tourist kitsch industry, it subsequently announced the exclusive licensing rights had been sold to no less a pioneering merchandising monolith than the California-based Walt Disney Company. Although some saw the rights sale as an outrageous besmirching of a proud national institution, the history of Mountie mythology suggests quite the opposite, that the Disney Mountie match might in fact be one made in merchandising heaven. Americans have always been more interested than Canadians in making pulp out of the RCMP, and who better to promote the earnest, honorable role of Canada's National Police Force than the same company that turned conservative family entertainment into a billion dollar global industry.